That's great. So we'll get started. Um, for those of you that are just joining us today, we, this is the uh, this was where we were supposed to be, and so we uh, we just thought we'd give you that little tease. Hopefully, hopefully next year, if the uh, pandemic is more under control, maybe we will get to go to the La Jolla Hilton Torrey Pines in in California. It looks just heavenly, doesn't it? Uh, next slide. So this is where we want to be, and this is where we are. We're we're uh, we're hanging out on Zoom, and and it's going really well. I think I hope everyone had a great day yesterday. I know that we did. We were quite pleased with how things turned out. So um, hopefully today will be the same. We have a very exciting day today. It's a busy busy day. So let's look at that next slide. Um, yeah. So one of the things that uh, is has been so important for our meeting is our sponsors, and and you can see all of their names here, and we will be showing those sponsor names again throughout throughout today. Um, but a real shout out to Distributed Bio and Adaptive uh, Biotechnologies and MPCOM and and uh, the Antibody Society and and Simon Fraser University. It's really really helped us to put on a, a great great meeting. Um, you will have received, if you're an AIR community member, um, an email a few hours ago from me uh, with the directions on how to vote. And we're going to remind you all day long to remember to vote. So just remember to vote. And if you haven't voted, go vote right now. Let's just get this voting over with. This is the voting for the ratification of the working group and subcommittee plans. As it says there on the slide, raise your hand if you want to uh, test your talk. I think we've pretty much passed that point. We've pretty much got everyone at least for this morning's pieces tested. Um, so if you want to just switch to the next slide, we'll do a quick overview of, of what we're going to do today. So can everyone see that okay? Maybe just raise your hand. Um, so today we're going to uh, have the basic science session and I'm going to turn things over to Jason here right quick. And we have a number of speakers, a quick break, uh, two short talks, and then software demonstrations, which Victor Greif is, is uh, moderating. And then after that, we will be having our first of two live poster sessions and uh, Davide will come back on and we'll, we'll talk about how those posters will work. You'll need to switch links to, uh, to the breakout sessions and we'll share that link with you. And, and uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a very busy next five hours. So if you just wanna go to the next slide. Here we see um, in, in tiny detail, which you can also of course see in the meeting app and on the web and on the platform, the agenda for the, uh, the posters. We have a lot of posters happening today. It's pretty exciting. So, um, and you'll be able to jump in and out of the breakout rooms. And like I said, we'll get more into that later. Um, next slide. So this is just a reminder about the uh, working group and subcommittee ratification voting for the plans that were presented yesterday. Um, all of the plans, all of the, um, what should I say, reports were loaded into the meeting platform last night, or last night my time. And, and so if you want to go back to those agenda links from yesterday, you'll see the full reports that were submitted by each of the working groups and subcommittees. Um, also, the, um, the, the URL at the bottom there, which you would have all received last night, um, has the link, is the link to the ratification vote. When, you're, when you go into that URL, you will also have the opportunity to review the slides that were presented yesterday. We are missing two slides, but we're chasing them. So um, you can still see the plans in the, in the agenda from yesterday, but um, the majority of the slides are there and the vote is very quick and simple. And um, we have to finish the vote by midnight tonight because uh, we need to announce the results tomorrow. So it's a quick turnaround, uh, which, is, which is a normal thing, but even more expedited because we are, you know, hanging out in a pandemic world. So if you have any questions or concerns about, um, about the vote, the ratification voting, you can shoot Nina or myself an email and we'll try to answer your questions. But it's pretty straight ahead. According to SurveyMonkey, it should take you about 90 seconds. So please, please, please jump on there and get it done right away. And again, this is for people that are um, Air Community members. So you'll need to log in when you're doing that voting, just like last week and the week before when we were doing the elections voting, it's the same process. So hopefully that's not too arduous. 
And I do um, note that sometimes if you've been logged in to the Air Community website and you haven't logged out, you will need to refresh um, your browsers. It, it, it sort of does this, as I call it, it's a cookie problem. So use a different browser if you can't get in. It's not that the website's down, it's just that you haven't cleared your cookies, which is probably not the technical way to explain that, but it is what happens. Um, so maybe just next slide there real quick. We will uh, take all your questions throughout the day, and these are the ways in which we're doing questions. You can type them into the Q&A panel, and they'll be read out by one of the moderators, and or you can raise your hand, and you will wait to your turn, and we will ask promote you so that you can personally ask your question. And so with that, um, I think we should turn it over to, to Jason.